What's up, peeps? X back again. And today, today, we're diving back into some conspiracy TikToks. All right? Just to see in a different kind of lens what's going on in this world. You know, the last videos I've been doing was on World Star. Fuck that shit today. All right? We're going to tone it down a little bit. I don't know if that's the right way to put it because TikTok could be crazy in its own sense. So, regardless, I hope y'all being taken care of yourselves, good care of yourselves, staying hydrated and healthy. That is the move and the motivation that we need to be on nowadays. And with that, with that, let's go ahead and hopefully dive into some stuff. That will help motivate us even more. Alright. See what we got crack lacking. So, it looks like it's starting off with some religious shit. Let's go ahead and show you what this is about. Now this is scary. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but... There's a theory going around, it's more like a religious theory. I saw a TikTok video where a preacher was talking, and he spoke about something very interesting idea. What if God is actually water? Think about it for us. <laughs> what if water... Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What if God is water? That is, you know, that is a very, very, very amazing just thought. Now that I think about it. Because water is in damn near everything, right? I mean, at least most living things have to have water, so... I don't know, just thinking with, with it on those terms, that's a good kind of, like, outlook into it, but let's see what these people gotta say. If God. Then that would mean God is both in us and all around us. That God is both above and below us. Why a woman's water breaks when we're born. But there's more. We often say that God is everything. Well, if that's true, then everything around us would be what? Water. There's water in the air, even though we can't see it. Right, There's right. water inside you, inside me, and in every living thing. Now consider places where water is scarce, like deserts or wastelands. What do you usually find there? Death, because of the lack of water. And it's scorching, like hell. Here's something else. God damn. He's making those places sound death. pretty harsh, man. I, I kind of don't like how he put it like that. <laughs> Because he, he, one of the pictures was the desert. I don't know about y'all, but it, um, the desert kind of areas, the biomes, whatever you want to call it. Those, I don't know, they're kind of alluring to me. Not just plain old dunes and sands and hills, rolling hills of sand. Like the, like the occasional oasis and the shrubs, the signs of life. And especially when it comes to the nighttime part. It's just a different kind of biome. I don't know how else to put it other than biome, but obviously that tells us I've been playing a lot of games lately. I think we're done with this one. Let's move on. Y'all, I am freaking out right now. Oh, There's shit, a I lot love of this unexplained girl. things going on in the ocean right now. Hold on real quick. I do not trust them. Just watch this real quick for me. You get to Mars by going through the ocean. You can't get to the bottom of the ocean because outer space is the ocean. Now, what she just said just blew my mind. Now, there's I heard a situation about called that. the firmament. So we know that water is all around us. And it is said that this dome divided the sea into upper and lower sections. You can't cancel this out because they still haven't discovered 80% of the sea. Early civilizations believed that the ocean and the stars above were linked. I mean, just look. Mayan, Norse, Hindu, Hebrew, all of them. Now, we already know what spacesuits look like. But they look exactly like sea suits. I know once in your life you've heard of the Bermuda Triangle. Planes yep. and people going missing in the ocean. There are black holes in the ocean. And I just know once in your life you've no heard about sea monsters. Way, when you see a comet, it looks like a boat soaring through water. What if these unexplained species in the ocean are actually aliens? If y'all have ever watched this movie underwater, they went too deep and found the creature that don't even look like it's supposed to be from this earth. Or could it have just been a creature from space? Now you can say what you want, but I bet you we are not the only beings, only species, only creatures that are in this universe. It's Absolutely just ironic not. that when they return to Earth, they're on water. I mean, I know I'm not tripping. And I know y'all heard of mermaids. So oh, many unexplained things in the ocean. Series. They're making more it's discoveries series, in space. Actually. Not really putting too much money or caring about what's going on on the planet. Why? Because this sea stuff might have a lot of connections to space. And they not telling us. Y'all be safe, and I know I'm not the only person who feel this way. 
Yeah, man, this this is a very, very interesting stuff. I'm glad we're doing this kind of version of TikTok because last time when I tried to do conspiracy TikToks, um, the videos that popped up were kind of kind of lacking in my kind of, you know, to my expectations. But yeah, I, it kind of reminds me of the talk I had with my son this morning. Um, I kind of wanted him, I kind of try to guide him into the information that I want him to know, but I want him to get intrigued because he follows in my footsteps and he seems to just be 100, maybe 110% like me, especially when it comes to likes. So I kind of showed him some stuff about space. I, I, I tried to show him like the closest view that we can have of a star. I don't know if y'all noticed, but um stars like the we don't have any really close-up images of stars we could have a close-up image of the sun which of course is a star but um that is built by some technology that we have close enough to the sun to see it the closest star is extremely extremely far away so regardless um this whole concept of being able to get to other biomes or excuse me other planets or um firmaments however you want to see it depending on how much your knowledge base is um is quite it's something i came across and it's quite interesting it's interesting because i've seen a video of some divers going down to a certain point i don't remember which sea it was but they reached a point where they actually seen some kind of hole and the hole kind of looked like it was reflecting another area so basically you're diving you get down to a certain point where you can see this bubble like contraption and inside the bubble is like it's it's a portal you like you're seeing another vision of a different area that does not look like it's underwater it looks like it's a, some kind of beach now they try to get into the bubble but there was this force that kept pushing them back there's a video online like that and i wish we can actually look into that but this is not the type of you know i just want to go ahead and go down this lineup of videos that we have here but um yeah that just kind of makes me think along the lines of this because just think about it i don't know if y'all also heard the story about admiral bird the um expedition that he took to one of the poles right and the stuff that he's seen there they claimed that it was to do some kind of reconnaissance, right? To see what was going on with some kind of other military powers. But people really think it might have been something to deal with exploration and finding out what's past the borders that nobody was supposed to know about. And what he found past there was astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. We'll probably get into that later on. But all this, like, it ties into information, man, so... Got to look into it, but y'all choose to decide what y'all choose to decide. To decide. You on. know the Mars theory? That there's aliens on Mars? Nah, there's a theory that Mars uh. was the original planet that humans were from. Okay. Then something happened that we all had to fly to another planet and live on. There used to be like civilization that lived on Mars. Now back this. Uh -huh. On Mars, there's an element on the periodic table called xenon xenon yeah. on earth is only found this is crazy it's only found after a nuclear explosion no 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 oh, that's not even the super mode button i, said, I no. think he's wrong about that <laughs> what the hell? he's wrong and about it goes that. hand in hand now what if on mars there was a nuclear warfare destroyed the whole planet but people were able to escape just in time yeah. landed on earth and they had to restart from nothing so we are the aliens we're the aliens. What the hell? Yeah. It's real shit. Like, this element's called Xenon. It's prominent after nuclear explosion. You know the Mars theory? Okay, so I think he's wrong. I don't think Xenon is only a byproduct of nuclear explosion. Right here is basically um, a fuse. It's actually a light. But this is filled with Xenon gas. The same thing he's talking about. I know about this because of R Hank, Rising Sun. I don't know if y'all know him, but he's a metaphysical scientist. And it's an alternative 
look into science, if you will, you know what I'm saying? It's either you, you look at the information, you choose to go with it, or you choose not to. I chose to go with the information, and I've seen some interesting effects using or having these just around you. Hank Rising Sun swears um, that these things have a certain kind of effect with the aura field. And um, he did not say anything about nuclear explosions. Besides, xenon gas is something that's on a periodic table, obviously. And it's also found in trace amounts on this earth. But it, I don't think it has to be after nuclear explosions. So I'm kind of a little bit baffled why he would say that. But maybe I might need to do a little more research. But yeah, let's move on. Wake the fuck up. Wake up. Now, Pete, Old Testament, this makes sense. Wake up. Wake up. All right, so Pete, right? I had zoomed in. Wake up. Wake up. So, what if this what it really was, bro? You can get to Africa from the Grand Canyon. And if anything, right? This would really make sense. You want to know why? Because what's in this area? Washington D. Yeah, that that name definitely fits oh for up there God. if you ask me. Wait a second. Yeah, um, it kind of went back a little bit, but um, that kind of man, it's again this information. I'm glad we're going, man. The lineup today is on point because I've been looking at other people, specifically Dre OG. If y'all don't know him, I um tend to watch his um conspiracy theory videos because i mean usually i just choose to stick with somebody who's already doing it see what they come across and he sets up his line line his he lines up his videos in a specific way i gotta start doing that and i kind of already kind of figured out how to do that i guess you save um certain videos on your tiktok but regardless um i've came across some information that that denotes that all these um these continents you can um access them pretty easily and it really makes you think because certain animals are th people claim that they're native to certain kind of areas but then they pop up in other areas where they're not native to so how did they get there you know is is it, it couldn't always be the case of somebody manually bringing them by you know boat or something or by plane of course which would seem pretty crazy but um yeah man um just a very interesting case i've definitely heard about the grand canyon thing but i seen a picture i think just i think it was last night it's basically africa and china from an aerial view and this like the there's a port of africa and there's a port of I want to say either Japan or China, but I think it's just Asia that they had it. And they're literally right next to each other, I think within miles. If not a mile, probably less than a mile. Just a port. So the maps, it, you know, man, like, y'all got to think about this shit. I really got to think that this government, this world that we live in, like, if y'all haven't been paying attention enough, um, let me tell you myself, they have lied about a lot of things, but why, what would be their intentions of lying for? And when you really do some, um, searching, even, I want to say even soul searching when it comes to that, um, you come across some, some information that is like, it's always contradicting. I did a TikTok the other day, just so y'all know, um, on my spiritual TikTok. I have a spiritual YouTube as well as a spiritual TikTok, which is goes by the name Demon Slayer X, if y'all do not know by now. But um I made a TikTok the other day on this type of topic and yeah man it just you know it, it really makes me think. I'm kinda of losing track of my mind though. Let's let's carry on. Let's move on to the next one. Here's some weird ass conspiracy theories that I fully believe in as someone who used to watch every single Shane Dawson conspiracy theory video growing up. Number one is that our phones are constantly listening to and watching us at all times. I feel like we've all had that experience where 
we'll talk about something that we've literally never talked about and then five minutes later an ad pops up on our phone about it which is just it's not a coincidence and at the same time Shane Dawson did just make a video basically about how our phone is kind of constantly watching us and proved this theory using like red light analysis i don't know but the whole thing was weird and i 100 percent believe that they are both watching and listening to us through our iphones absolutely number two is the butter okay for one i gotta stop real quick because i don't know about y'all but i'll i'd love to see a woman like do the makeup thing while she's talking it's like damn how the fuck can you pay that much attention to what the fuck you're putting on your face and talk so eloquent eloquently and well and straight point you know what i'm saying it's like sometimes my mind feels a little bit all over the goddamn place so i'm like how the fuck do you you know what i'm saying it ain't that serious y'all i'm just playing but that whole I, I was gonna say something about that first part of what she said she said red light but if i want to talk about blue light too if y'all do not know there is a patent for blue light um considering the fact that it it could put you it, it could put your subconscious and also i believe your regular conscience into a state of submissiveness not not really submissive it's just being i don't know what's the right word not um something along the lines of docile but i don't exactly mean docile you know what i'm saying it just makes you a little bit more subjective to the information that they want you to see. Think about TV, especially the drama, dramatizations that we see on TV nowadays. The shit that doesn't really have any kind of S. I don't know how to put it, guys. My words, I'm not figuring out my words properly. But the bullshit that doesn't help you grow as a person on TV. That's basically what I'm saying. They include extra amounts of blue light into shows like this to help your mind take in this information in a certain kind of way where you kind of want to partake in that information kind of like that that's basically what i'm trying to say but she says something about red light but let's carry on let's see what else she got to say i'm interested fact, which basically means that everything we do will like alter our future if you leave the house 10 minutes later than you were planning on something in your future could drastically change and i will believe hell yeah this. i will see stuff happen i'll watch car accidents happen i'm like damn like if they weren't driving at this time like that probably wouldn't happen just like, all these yep. different little things that happen in my life or like if i didn't go to a specific workout class one morning i wouldn't have met my boyfriend like everything affects something else in your life and it's so crazy when you think about it number three is that i kind of think the simpsons do somewhat predict the future like i'm not all saying right she's talking about the simpsons we're not going to go into that but the second part of what she said don't i tell you haven't i told you that enough consider every moment of your life as something that's specifically designed for you meant for you even as uh, however mundane it seems because the more, I don't know, the more that you get older, um, you start seeing things different. And I, I really guess I can't say this for everybody because there's some older people who just seem to be completely obliv oblivious. I consider myself a simple minded person, but at the same time complex. I know that probably doesn't make sense, but I am very content and happy with the simple things in life. But when it comes to the deeper side of life, like the spiritual meanings and the, the meanings of the situations that we go through, like my soul and my mind searches and ponders through all that shit, lightning speed while in those moments, like what could this mean? What could that mean? And all type of shit, you know, it's, it's very interesting. So again, I'll just leave it off with that. Consider every moment and cherish it too guys all right let's carry on who the hell is that beyonce man leave that damn woman alone for fear that you'll lose yourself in their expectations of you well, I've felt that way for a long time. And then I see my big face on that movie screen 
with no makeup on and my natural hair color, and I'm like, oh, shit, I just gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, I, I have always liked to shape shift. Oh, Holy crap, dude. She actually said that? Wow. Um, we're just gonna move on. I hope y'all know what the fuck this whole scene is about. If y'all don't, get help. Lizards are among us. This is scary. Isn't it weird how we all use our phones 24 7, but we never see them or use them in our dreams? Even all the other technologies mm. like TVs and laptops, you just won't see them in a dream. Some people think that this proves that we're actually living inside a simulation because something is stopping you from seeing something on your unconscious level. This is scary. Yo, 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 yo. That is a very, very good point. I never, ever, ever seen anything like a phone, computer, TV in my dreams, I think. I absolutely think. The only piece of technology I can really think of is vehicles. That might just be me, though, but I'm curious to know what y'all think. Like, do y'all see stuff in, like, technology in y'all dreams? Very good question. I need to, like, look into that. Let's move on. I'm a retired FBI agent, and this is a conspiracy theory that keeps me up at night. In 2018, a treasure hunter tipped off the FBI to a large cache of buried, stolen Civil War gold in a rural part of Elk County, Pennsylvania. Now, the story goes, this treasure hunter had been looking into this since around 2011, probably further back than that. But his research showed that during the Civil War, a secret society known as the Knights of the Golden Circle, a group that operated in the North to sabotage the Northern efforts, one of them being to steal this gold that was on its way to the U.S. Mint in Philadelphia, and then hide it. Why they never went back for it, I don't know. This treasure hunter had been operating or doing his research and looking for this stuff and he located a site that was on public land in Pennsylvania and he was operating under the permission of the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. It's somewhere along the way this treasure hunter and the DCNR had a falling out and he follows this up and goes to the FBI. He told them or however he convinced them they took it seriously enough to hire an outside agency to go in and do some very high-tech um, survey of the property to see if there's any validity to this. And sure enough, this, um, this uh, high-tech equipment revealed that there was a large mass of some kind at this site underground. Mm, interesting. And, and the FBI also using pretty high-tech equipment determined that there was the presence of gold. They end up getting a, a seizure warrant through a federal judge. They get a writ of entry that gives them access to the to the land. They do a three-day search for this using an excavator and all kinds of techniques, you know, to, to try to locate this stuff. Very well documented, I have to say. Uh, very thoroughly documented. And they found nothing. No sign of Civil War gold, no sign that anything had been buried there. Now, currently ongoing, there's a lawsuit between this treasure hunter and the FBI. He claims that uh, they did find something and that there's video evidence of this. I don't understand why you, the site survey shows presence of gold, a large mass under the ground, and then they find absolutely nothing. So stay tuned. I mean, shit, bro. I mean, could you... Man, I guess once they get their hands on that information, like, it's a done deal. So... But it's probably best to keep that type of information to yourself, but who knows? Let's move on. Tartika. The hell did they find here? Oh, what? The hell? Whoa! What in the fuck, dude? No way, no freaking way. 
So y'all know how Walmart's been mysteriously closing. This is an abandoned Walmart. Now what does this look like to y'all? This is an abandoned Walmart, um, a closed down Walmart. What does it look like? I mean, it, it looks abandoned. So y'all know how Walmart- I mean, so, <laughs> this is a pretty quick and brief one, um, but I've heard about a lot of Walmarts closing down, but not by me. Seems like there's actually more opening up, so. I don't really know what this, what they're trying to mean by this, but it wouldn't be too hard to like think that maybe they want to relocate. Maybe the business could do better in a different location. So I don't know. Let's move on. My though. favorite conspiracy theory is that there are people hired by the government to cause rush hour traffic. Oh shit! Big oil and SSRI distributors. Because what else are you doing in traffic other than burning gas and being miserable? Oh man, this this hits this hits hard on another level, y'all. It hits hard. You know why? My occupation. I'm a truck driver. And I think what I was gonna say earlier, um, regarding my TikTok, I kinda posted a video about this energy that's going around, right? This energy that's going on around that I've been I even told my folks about my parents that i've been noticing this um this energy for some time now listen i'm gonna be eight years at the end of august as a truck driver straight through no accidents clean record right and that is because um i've always been a driver that for one is very patient very courteous i know i'm gonna get from point a to point b especially if i take my time and um me having those habits it makes me see everybody fly around me like literal like roaches in a room or roaches in a dark and then you cut on that light and they just scatter everywhere i know most of y'all probably don't know about that and that's cool but me growing up how i did um it just reminds me of <laughs> it just reminds me of that um this energy though yeah, it's it's affecting people, and let me specifically say, it. this energy it's it seems to bounce from people. This energy that makes people want to be hasteful, like I don't understand how people accelerate the way that they do from a red light to a, you know, when the red light changes from red to green, it's like everybody's in a race, and I can just feel the tension all around me. And obviously, y'all can tell yourselves because road rage incidences have been blowing up like mad lately. So, just like I said in that, that TikTok video, be safe out there. Be courteous or be patient if you can. I do understand people got to be places and they got to be there at those places at certain times. But just consider that going a little bit slower it's going to be a negligible difference in the timing of your eta okay just keep that in mind let's move on let's do a couple more and we'll call it quits what's going on with this so we have an egyptian pharaoh and pyramid and then we have the grand canyon and i want you to see what i'm seeing take a look so yep. you can understand it's pretty obvious newest conspiracy theory so i'm gonna try to explain to you why people think this is legit and it all starts from an article back in 1909 where an archaeologist found a hidden city and a ton of egyptian artifacts here in the grand canyon some people thought that was a hoax but then the higher group i mean bro this just goes hand in hand with that video about the map and didn't they just say Egypt was kind of in the location that the Grand Canyon is? You know what I'm saying? So it's, I don't know, man. Unless you travel yourself, you will not really get to experience or see for yourself this type of information. So, um, unfortunately, I've never been able to go to the Grand Canyon. I've been by there plenty of times, but driving past there. So, but maybe yeah one day i'm gonna find the time to actually go to these places but i'll be honest the grand canyon kind of scares me a little bit it does for multiple reasons 
Let's finish up. Are actually pretty similar between the two, Native American and Egyptian. Like some of the characters were exactly the same. And some people just don't believe that the Grand Canyon could just appear naturally. That man had to be involved to create something so majestic. There's apparently a whole group of people that believe the U.S. government is hiding a of whole course. lot of stuff in the Grand Canyon from us. Supposedly they're hiding evidence and artifacts and a whole ancient civilization and that our government doesn't want to open any of these mummy shells because they don't want us to be a cursed region. I don't know. Do y'all think it's an Egyptian <laughs> shrine? <laughs> no, I don't think it's that they don't want us to be a curse by some idiot fucking going into one of those caves and finding some kind of magical staff and then fucking dooms everybody with it. I think they want to keep all that stuff to themselves and try to experiment with it and also um, just uh, uh, I, I want to say the religious background of what that stuff might be from because that will tell um, that will give you information of like how things were in the past and it will tell a whole different story because I don't know this whole thing about Christopher Columbus coming over here and fucking doing what he did. <sighs> Let's fucking move on. They used to meet in secret to discuss their mathematical discoveries. Only members were allowed to attend. They had a secret emblem, the pentagram. Let's see what the topic is for today. Are those ghosts? shorter lines combined exactly equal the third and this line shows the magic proportions of the famous golden section the second and third lines exactly equal the fourth once again we have the golden section but this is only the beginning hidden within the pentagram is a secret for creating a golden rectangle which the Greeks admired for its beautiful proportions and magic qualities. The star contains the golden rectangle many times over. Okay, okay, it's pretty interesting. I tend to not take too much time with these geographical shapes and stuff, but um i know these uh geographical shapes do have some significance but fuck all this right now what the hell it man that thing definitely does look like it's looking at him holy crap dude Maybe it's just how it's carved that it looks like it's looking at you from every single angle. That is, uh, creepy, dude. What would be even more fucked up if it started pointing as well? <laughs> Man, let's move on and finish. Well, I know everybody thinks everything is a conspiracy, although I told y'all two years ago, I showed y'all the report where the CIA created the term uh, conspiracy theory for critical thinkers. Um, it is just a weaponized term, and it is not a conspiracy that there likely is a clonier and clones and skin mask and Jamie Foxx might be the next one. It's not a conspiracy that these things actually exist. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference between clones and skin masks that are going around because the world is a stage and everything is not what you think it is. Humans made to order. Mothers giving birth to themselves. Babies conceived just so their body parts can be transplanted. Come with me into the scary new world of cloning. The nightmarish stuff of science fiction has suddenly become a reality. Behind those walls, there are people with the technology, 
the ability and the desire Damn, this seems like an older video embryos, too. To be the first in the world to successfully clone designer babies. Very pleased to announce that the ba first baby clone uh, is born. She was born yesterday at 11:55. 19 years ago. Uh, AM in the country where she was born. So this will not give you <laughs> more details about the location. She, she's fine. We call her Eve. Poland is a private company. We founded that four years ago. Man. Got the fundings to really well, have uh, I've kind of already focus. known about this and type so of shit. And so now but. we have three scientists working uh, almost full time in a lab here in the United States with the major goal for us to, to produce a human embryo by human cloning. My first gen was born in Jersey. However, I was cloned by Clonate in Canada. My model number is 0112568. If anyone wants to see the registration and cloning. Um, when I was cloned, they wiped a lot of memory. But when I stole the documents before escaping, I read that the mother was Puerto Rican and the, uh, the father is surrogate, you could say, was a uh, the sperm donor, was a Sicilian. <laughs> Okay, um, there's a little bit more to this clip, but we're going to end it right here, and we're ending it with a fucking bang. Now, um, obviously, I don't know if y'all know, but cloning has been a big thing. They first perfected it, I guess, with animals in the past, but um, these designer babies and um, these manipulation of these embryos um, been going on for a long time. And you can see that clip that um, with that woman who claimed that the first clone child was born. Now, I don't know how long they lived to be, but it's quite interesting, man. But the second part of what I want to kind of say is that something I've noticed, and I think this was going to be like the next TikTok video clip that I was going to make. And I'll put it here first, but I don't know about y'all. But when it comes to names, like, people with the same names, they usually have the same mannerisms. I don't know if y'all noticed that. And usually, sometimes, they have the same look. But if it's not the same name, if these people, there's certain people that have almost the same look. And usually, when they have the same look, they have the same temperament, the same attitudes. I've been noticing this pattern for quite some time. And it, it really, it really baffles me. I don't know exactly what to say about this shit right now. But I'm just saying, y'all, pay attention. This world is getting more weirder as time goes on. But, um, it could be, it could be more weirder. But it could be very interesting and, um, very knowledgeable. I don't know how else to put that, but. It, it could be, you could see everything in a good light. It's just very interesting, this life that we live. And I think a lot of people take it for granted. They get caught up in this rat race mentality and um, party on the weekends or work through, you know, the work days, weekdays. Um, yeah, man, but me, I, I appreciate every day. Again, I'm a simple-minded person. So I just want y'all, I would just want to say this to y'all. So y'all can kind of get on the same mindset. Appreciate everything you come across. Appreciate all your days. Don't take things too serious. And try to be the bigger person as well. A lot of people seem to need that in this world. A lot of people are losing their shits. Going crazy over the stupidest, most mundane things. And some a part of me says, I can't blame them. You know, they're dealing with a lot. Especially if you're not taking care of yourself mentally and um, that type of stuff. So, anyways, if y'all made it to the end, I appreciate y'all for watching as always. Um, make sure to stay tuned. We will get back to doing this later on in the future. But until that point, I am out. Peace and prosperity, y'all.